All right, after testing the transition of this follower with the cuts we made on it several times using our clamps, being able to see into the magazine, I decided I would go ahead and assemble the magazine and test it. There's a couple of things I want to tell you about putting the adapters together. First of all, these are brass inserts that are pressed into the, the adapter and they crush a little bit when they're pressed in. The first time you put the bolts in from the back side, you're going to be spreading that brass part. So it's best to start the screws from the back side the first time and run the screws into all six holes and then take them out. It'll make it much easier to put them together from this side. Also, you may put a little dish soap on those uh, screws to, to make them go into the brass inserts a little easier. Okay, we just assembled this magazine, and all this, although this one has not had the molybdenum, molybdenum disulfide or, or the modifications to the top of the feed lips yet, we're just going to go ahead and test it. What I'm looking for is two things. I want to see that the magazine will freely load. I do expect around round seven to feel the transition here, but I should be able to push past the transition. More importantly, when I individually eject one shell at a time, I want to see the stacks, you know, rapidly present the next shell without any sluggish motion or anything. So let's try it. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. This is where I expect to feel the transition. Seven. Didn't even feel it. Oh, there it is. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, now I can depress the stack and release it. I can see that my whole stack, that's two pounds of shells, is freely moving in the stack. Now I'm going to see how fast they present. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 hung a little bit, oh it was up here, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I know the stack will freely load now, so this would be a point where I would probably go ahead and put my molybdenum disulfide in the components, the follower itself gets coated, and then assemble the magazine and actually test fire the magazine.